<laughs> Hello everyone, Kree here, bringing you back to the top lane, and today we are against a Orin. Yes, that is right. Wow, the fact that it hit me is kind of insane. But this is the champion we are against. He does give up the mini to take a Q2 from me. That's fair, that's fair. Auto get a shield. What do you have? Grasp. He hasn't proc'd it once, which is surprising. Q. Q2. Avoid that one. Alright, I'll take that as a good trade. Pop a pot. Not bad. So we are against a Orn. The runes we're currently going to the Mad Lad are Conquer, Triumph, Bloodline, Last Stand. Then we have Magical Forward plus a Biscuit Delivery. So we're going to E off this pillar like that. Auto Q2. Good damage, just like that. One more auto. I think I could have flash auto and killed, but I'm genuinely not sure if he was gonna finesse me or something. <laughs> like, if he had like a pot or some sorts, that would have. Alright, that works out nicely. Uh, I shouldn't have to flash away. Minions don't do enough damage to me? Nice! Alright, so we got the guy's flash. I'm just gonna back in TP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do know Rek'Sai is actually on his way, literally running. He's, he's like literally turboing all the way top lane, which is pretty unfortunate. Wave's still pushing towards us, so I'm actually going to miss quite a bit of XP. It's fine, though. Um, if Rek'Sai fights me here, I should be able to... Yeah, Rek'Sai goes back to his jungle. We'll TP back here. And we're going to look for an E-Flash, I guess, yeah? Oh, he has Bone Plating. Wow. That's so unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I never noticed the guy had Bone Plating until now. Well, oh, that's a waste of my flash, not gonna lie. Not to mention, I know Rek'Sai is literally sitting around here looking to actually E into me. So I'm actually in a very bad spot. If you didn't have bone plating, I actually killed the guy, believe it or not. <laughs> and that's actually really unfortunate. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna recall now because he's shoving the wave out. Like the nice guy he is. Actually, he's not shoving the wave out at all. I wish he was, but... We are going to Divine Sunder. Yes, Divine Sunder is gonna be the way we're gonna go this game. We are against a Orin. The way to deal against a tank is by simply picking up a Divine Sunder. I am currently playing with my Collegiate team, by the way, which is pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. And yeah, we're just simply flexing it up. So, looking uh, so far... Rek'Sai does have to pick up the kill on our Sinja. He's honestly going to get perma-camped, if I do say so play. myself. I feel like Rek'Sai's probably going to play off uh, mid to top side, like he has been just early game. He might swap it down to one straight spawns, but we will see. Uh, we are going to sit last it quite a bit and just try to come back up into farm. So, it's kind of apparent that Rek'Sai might be at Krux, right? Why else will Orn walk all the way over there? Unless maybe to, maybe he was leashing or he actually just went to get a ward. And if there's a ward there, that works out. Otherwise... I will drop a word myself. Yup, there is Rek'Sai. Now we know that he's there. And yeah, so I was right. Rek'Sai was simply just sitting in that bush. So that's actually very good to know. Drop W. W is the most damage to cannon because it's percent HP damage. That somehow hit me. Sad times. Yo! Minions! Stop robbing me! Target the right ones, please! <laughs> like straight up trying to finesse me with my gold. It kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Takes a turret shot. QW. This is a really good trade. Auto Q2. We proc Conquer. He messes that up. Slows me and walks away. All right, not bad. Not gonna lie, surprise his Q immediately came back up right then and there, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Like so, we proc Conqueror, nice we've done good things with it, and just simply want to look for another trade. So whenever you do ever E into Orn, you actually want to walk past him and hope that he actually doesn't get the Brutal proc on top of you, because the Brutal proc is what does the most damage in his kit. What you actually want is an AP shield. His AP, an AP shield will reduce the Brutal proc damage. You don't want an AD shield like I do have. You only get it if you, take, if you get hit by a lot of his Qs. Wow. I'm surprised he kind of just, like, did it. <laughs> oh my god, does that suck, dude. It's, it's a really good poke. We have a Blitzcrank top lane. He's predatoring. Poke him? Yikes. <laughs> That's a big yikes for me, dog. It's, it's actually even worse for me because, well, take it. He had a target second, I didn't want to use it. And as I was saying, it's actually worse for me because, well... Orin's gonna get six, a lot sooner than I am. And this guy came top lane to soak up XP and actually didn't even get the kill. So that does suck a lot, not gonna lie. It does really does suck a lot. I think he honestly should have just hooked immediately. Personally. That's what I would have done anyways. Anyways, tag him there, get a little bit of sustain. Once you do have seen, it should be obviously a lot easier to fight the guy. Q, we actually get ult first, which is honestly surprising. Well, he's not focusing the wave, right? He's focusing me. Anyways, let's just go for the recall here. Go pick up Shino on recall. And, you know, it's looking pretty good. You know, so far it's pretty spicy. We're going back and forth, fighting left and right, if I do say so myself. Honestly, I don't think I'm probably going to kill him until we have Divine Sunder at this point. 
that's just simply how it is. Uh, we are going to buy this. Uh, nothing else for me to really buy in particular, so we're just going to simply go top lane here. Well, obviously we're going to go top lane. What I have to say, we're not going to wait around for an item. <coughs> Hits it! Probably the worst hook he could have gone for because he uh, kind of just dies there. Which is really oh! No! He missed his E! That's so sad. I, think. I mean, to be fair, you also just simply dashed. Yumi? I don't think Yumi's the problem, buddy. <laughs> I don't think Yumi's the problem, buddy. Anyways, auto Q. So farm difference, we are slightly down in 8. Sucks, I know. But yeah, simply, the way this Orton matchup goes is you simply want to avoid getting hit by the last tick of his W. That way you don't get the brittle proc. You also only want to use your ultimate to dodge out on his own ult. That way you don't give him a brittle proc in or get knocked up. And you also want to avoid his constant Q poke. If you avoid his constant Q poke, then you get an AP short, which is actually what you want in lane. They are able to kill the Pantheon, which is huge. Pantheon ults or something? Yeah, he ults it on the turret, I guess. So that's pretty good. Uh, ping my ultimate is up. Avoid that like I want to. Q2 that. 150 true damage. Not that much to be fair. So what's the QCD? This Q's up again, right? Yep. Keep that in mind. Hey, he's sitting really far back. Uh, the farther they stand away from you, by the way, the better they have at reacting at your, actually, your Q. Your E, sorry. So do keep that in mind. Throws it. Yep, pretty obvious. I'm, I'm just reading him like a book at this point, man. We're dodging every single one of those, if I do say so myself. Anyway, slowly but surely, we will just work our way towards this. And once we have it, it should be a good time. He's going to hit me that time, because, yeah, I'm going to come in for the minion. Q2, good damage, disengage. Definitely take that trade all the way. So we currently have 1.2% life still, which is not bad, plus a little bit of Omni Vamp. I uh, think this guy's ultimate, 65 seconds. I don't think we actually need it to kill him, honestly. Just because I do have ult. As long as he's not Oom, we should be able to do it. But that's pretty much it. You're not building in my face! <laughs> I forbid it! It's against the law, man! It's simply against the law. Anyways, let's see what he does. Does he recall or does he come top lane? It looks like he is walking his way. Make his merry way over here. We also do have a uh, juicy Blitzcrank walk in here as well. Which is pretty cool. Engaging the guy. Walk past him. Avoid the brittle proc just like that. Uh, tries going for a knockup. And well, the guy is simply dead. We are going to press the Q key. Make sure I do last hit that kill. Because I got to get the Divine Sunder as fast as I can. So yeah, but I played that fight perfectly. I actually went 100 to 0 hit myself right then and there. So as you saw... We got the good Q2 trade. He wasn't able to... He, you know, he Ws, but we walked past the Brittle proc. So he actually doesn't get the damage off. I have my ultimate to dodge his incoming art that he would have thrown off otherwise. And it would have been a free kill. And that was just beautiful. My team being there obviously just makes everybody dies faster and they get assists. I just noticed they're dying actually pretty frequently. So, uh... It might be a FF where the game's just going to be simply really hard. But we will simply see. Right? We will see. Homeless. <laughs> kind of a weird thing to say, but uh, yeah, I guess. Homeless, sure. I mean, the thing is, he just can't do anything bot lane there. We just have to sack our Blit. We just have to sack our uh, Lush, Lush Jin. We just got to sack our Jin at this point, and he just needs to make plays around the map. I get that. That's why he just simply can't do anything. He's just going to get dope 24-7. <sighs> I do have TP. Ah, uh, sad. If he hits it, then he dies, right? If he doesn't, then he doesn't. Um... Oh, that would have been sick. TPing here. This is pretty good. No? There we go. There you go. Pressing R so Yumi can't get onto anyone. See? I'm like, come on. This is like, this is like pretty free, guys. <laughs> Don't mind if I do if I take that shutdown too. Let's go! Like I said, it's simply free, man. You know, it took a little bit longer than I wanted to fit with the ult, but that's where we can find. I honestly thought he probably could have just went in right then and there, but maybe I'm just honestly incredibly stupid, which I also am, so honestly, it doesn't matter. The play still worked out beautifully for us, and that was just amazing. We do have a Blitzcrank roaming towards top lane, which is actually pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, really good. I made sure my fiddle actually did at the very least get one kill there because if he did it, what would have happened? It would... It would have sucked, right, if I got all the gold, because this is a <laughs> this is a team game, right? And if I get all the gold for myself, it's going to be very hard for me to carry a game when they're so far ahead. Simply makes sense. Anyways, yes, sir. Man, it's canceling his auto attacks. What's wrong with you, man? You're not, you're not, you're not a laner. You shouldn't be canceling autos. You just let them fully go through. Anyways, I know this is warded, so I am just simply going to take this. I do know that Rex, I should be coming top lane soon. 
That was terrible. Yeah, I was right about Rek'Sai coming top lane soon. I knew he's coming top lane soon, but I didn't think he'd immediately run top. I didn't think he'd ignore camps. But I guess so. <laughs> I didn't think he'd ignore camps. But I guess so. I I, I guess this guy does ignore his camps. <laughs> Whatever. I guess it happens. Uh, do we lose first turn anywhere yet? We're probably gonna lose a bot lane. If he can clear, if he can clear against him, then he can. But it looks like we are gonna have a fiddle ult under turn, which is huge. Uh, I think pretty sure he's gonna go for the dive here. Yup. Nice fear. Chain that damage, baby. Looking pretty good. Yumi's gonna go down for the count there. Mr. Aura trying his hardest. Man, I'm pretty sure Rek'Sai actually should still be around topside, right? Yup, that was pretty obvious. Rek'Sai doesn't have ult this time, and neither does Aura, so I should be actually fine. Uh, we are down two levels, which is pretty unfortunate. I did miss a ton of farm, that is true. Uh, not sure where Rek'Sai is. He just wasted that. Should be 100 to 0. Nice! Look at that! <laughs> nice ult, buddy! Pretty good ult if I do say so myself. How's it going, Rek'Sai? I do see you there, buddy. What are you doing, man? He's a KSer! <laughs> Very, very sad stuff, but it is what it is. I didn't have to flash away. I simply should have just queued him, and I would have gotten Divine Thunder here when it was under my turret, and he wouldn't have killed me. I was afraid for some reason his EQ would be back up, but it simply wasn't, right? Obviously, no way. By the way, his ult was already back up. Generally surprised. You'd think it'd be on CD, but nope, not at all. That thing was immediately back up, which kind of sucks. Oh, well, I guess it happened. So, anyways, Orin is dead. He shouldn't have TP. I'm hoping he doesn't have TP anyways. Uh, Rek'Sai is dead, so he's not going to be top lane, which means I can go for plating, which we only have about literally 20 seconds to get. So, you know, I'd like to get as much as I can. Wow, you came back to lane pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, it's, he, he come back to lane that fast. He just doesn't have that much long of a respawn timer, right? So, next item on the agenda is going to be a Ravenous Hydra. Then we are probably and might go towards a Bloodthirster. Otherwise, it's going to be a Stereos Gauge for team play. We will see if I end up going for a more groups, a grouping game rather than a split push game. But Ravenous Hydra will always be a staple regardless. We're going to sell our biscuit. We don't need it anymore. Double control award. That way we do have vision security and we're just going to keep it moving. So it looks like something's happening over here. The ult comes through. Misses the W because of the hook. But they do pick up the kill at the very least, which is good. I am going to walk straight mid because Rek'Sai doesn't have Herald, but a fight might still continue. Nope, they're actually backing off. So back to the top and we go. Not bad. He also is honestly running it down, which is pretty cool. Not sure why he rushed this, though. Um, probably would have been a good buy if, we'd have, if we had drain tanks. I mean, I guess me and Fiddle, but it's not like we're grou grouping up and fighting yet. It's not really going to do too much anyway, so I definitely want to have gotten it myself, personally. Anyways, let's shove this out here. Um, yeah, I was going to go drop a ward, but that honestly be scary in and of itself. Auto Q2. We're just going to walk away until we actually know where they are on the map. Yes, sir. Give him a little heart real quick. Anyways, just wait around. Uh, might as well hit this for vision. Yeah, you would have thought I was going to give that one to you, buddy. Mm, yep, Yasuo is literally sitting there. All right, good to know. Yasuo, top side with Orn. Yasuo simply top side with Orn. Let my boys know. They honestly might be having multiple people there. Should be a free stun. Yes, sir. It wasn't a chain CC. Prowler Skull's coming in through. Flashes away. He's still going to go down, though. Lives, actually. Pretty good stuff. And yeah, Yasuo's here, so I just kind of have to give this up, unfortunately. Uh, he still died. It's a challenge, my unfortunate. Sucks to suck, but it is what it is. We'll simply drop this ward here, and we're just going to simply keep sitting back and relaxing. What am I supposed to do? And there's Yasuo right here, guys. I need a little bit of assistance. There's also a Yumi up here, too. Never mind. I don't want any assistance. I just keep playing passive. Auto-Q, auto-Q. Yumi's top lane. If we have three of us up here, we should be able to kill Yasuo very easily, in my opinion. I'm with you, baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that was pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Pantheon's on his way, so we definitely don't want to look for a fight here. They also have Orin, I'm pretty sure, on the side, ready to press his ultimate, so... Definitely don't want to look for the fight without our Fiddle 6. He is our strongest opponent. We'll ping that our team should be walking down there. I do have TP if you also or anyone else stays top lane. If anyone but Orange stays top lane, I will obviously TP down and answer. 
or I'll go for a 1v1 into Orin if it was him. Oh, he is out there. Oh, I have to yawn. TPing immediately. Fight breaking out. That is not a fight. That is simply him getting caught. Never mind. Thought a fight was breaking out, but I was incredibly wrong, so we are going to push for this right now. Uh, come on, guys. Oh, the hook! The hookinator! <laughs> Alright, nice. That works out. Uh, poor guy is dead. I didn't commit because, yeah, that would happen. Uh, or an R, Panther on R. I would have simply died. It really wouldn't really be worth it, so that's why I didn't commit there. So, that simple, yeah. Our fiddle just simply can't be getting caught like that, or it's just bad news bears. Was he a shutdown? He was not a shutdown. That's pretty good. Mm. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Certainly not that way. <laughs> Certainly not that way, my good sir. Alright, I think I'm gonna go Ravenous Sergeant into a Death Stance because I just noticed they do have more than three deep champions, so it would be pretty cool for me to get a Death Stance, right? Auto Q2 there, auto this after my Ravenous Sergeant, of course, right? So big wave right there, he is moving towards there. Thank you for the gold, my good sir. We do have a Caulfield to Warhammer, while well, to be fair, I always had it. But thank you for the gold, my good sir. I appreciate it. But yeah, Ravenous Sergeant into a Death Stance is definitely what I do want. I honestly can go for an early Death Stance if I am being real. Just because it is 2k gold away, we will see if I actually end up do getting it or not. We will be going top lane now. This wave is shoving out really nicely. If Yasuo is up here, hopefully Fiddle can look for a nice juicy ultimate, but we will see. We will for sure see. I should get a Heating Cup very shortly though. Just because it's Yumi and Yasuo, right? Ton of sustain, especially with Shield Bow, so it just makes sense to pick up. Let's see, farm, not the most farm in the game. He also pretty much, he did have the freest lane ever, so it just makes sense. Poor guy, he really can't do anything. He just literally had the worst two matchups in the game. Pantheon is a little easier because he can simply QE and stop him from stunning or something of the sorts like that. Definitely can be looking to do that, but still not a good matchup for him regardless in my opinion. Um, they are looking for something here. I am walking down, but they gotta be a little bit careful. I'm very close to Ravenous Sarge, so I think I am just going to Power Spike on that instead. Um, Orin is walking up. I'll chop a control over here. Hmm. Orin is still around, just simply shadowing, which sucks. That shadowy, shadowy bastard. <laughs> They're simply sitting behind them, 10,000 feet. I don't know why. It kind of it kind of sucks. It kind of blows. Well, they're not walking up. There's Zorin, as you clearly see. I'm going to drop W and walk away. I'm not going to walk up just because Yasuo can dash through the wall with Yumi. That really sucks. So we're just going to sit back and relax. Don't know if Yasuo is recalled or not. So simply still going to sit back and relax. We're not going to risk it. As much as I want to go for the fight, it's just too risky. Because it's always going to be a 300 0 in my favor, right? But we'll just sit back and relax. W, E into that, not bad. So we will have Ravenous Hydra on our back here, which is pretty good stuff. I This time, at this point, I will assume that Yasuo has backed. If he has not, then it's kind of weird. Never mind. They're sending everyone top lane yet again. Time to run it back. <laughs> and you guys really want to make a pick on me. It kind of sucks, not going to lie. Mm, I do like this play. They're going to make the pick on him. It's going to be huge. Stun. He did not stun. Which is really unfortunate. Ha! <laughs> the flash proto You love to see it. Nice. They are going to pick up the kill on Yumi soon, hopefully. Nope. I am going to be running all the way down there. Rek'Sai is there. They are going to pick up the kill. And they're just really weak outside of Fiddle. Oh, man. It really sucks. I am running all the way down there. But we'll see. Yo, bro, says Yasuo. Relax, man. Why are you flaming? Drop ward here. Hey, Rek'Sai. How's it going, man? They won't commit for any of this, right? Yeah. Woo! That would have been sick. Ask your arrest will he do it to my mid laner shaking my head. True! Very true. It just really sucked that this guy, that my boy, didn't stun Yasuo. Maybe he did, I didn't see it. But had he stunned Yasuo earlier, then what would have happened? He wants me to get a healing cut. What the hell? Why are they still around? Sad. I will soon. It's not I haven't been grouped anyway, so it's not like me getting a healing cut early would have done anything, realistically. I just wasted flash, which really sucks. I wanted to go over and clear the ward, but they just they suddenly walked back up for some reason. 
They they clearly were they clearly were adamant about defending that ward for like five seconds, and then they were adamant on defending it all of a sudden. It was kind of weird, not gonna lie. Just clearing all of that. Gonna pick up scuttle crap here. Uh, sure. Finish that off. Hits the hook. He's paying attention. Nice job. Not sure if that's warded or not. He's obviously revealed. Oh, he's right here. Stupid me. <laughs> he's simply right there. He's looking for an ult play. We want to basically bait them to walk over here in this fight. Uh, we got his ulti. That's huge. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's actually really good stuff. Bait into us. Kite back. We bait into us. Kite back. This guy's getting hard chased, by the way. It's pretty good. Perma rooted, man. Man, I can't catch up. All right, there you go, buddy. You know what? I'll pick up Yumi. Come here, you kitty cat. <laughs> I'll pick you up. Why not? <laughs> Whoa! Calm it down. Where are you? Where are you going? <laughs> All right, nice. Yeah, I was simply... I should have pressed R instantly, but I didn't. I got insta-rooted, which is really unfortunate. Mm, I don't have that stance yet, so you know what? I won't even attempt you. Because I think Prowler Skull was simply... I don't know if he has ult or not. Did he ping it? Nah, he didn't ping a single thing. If he has ult, it could be annoying with challenging my end stopwatch. So we're just simply not going to go for it. We'll just simply shove mid lane out. But yeah, this game is just simply going to rob around uh, our Fiddlesticks ultimate. Precision Fiddle R's are just going to... Uh, <laughs> Fiddle ult is what will carry this game. That is what I'm, that is what I'm trying to say. Relax, Faker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Relax, Faker. Calm it down. All right, let's pick up our healing cup now. And then go to it to our death dance. I wish I had 1600 gold. That would be an amazing buy because I would get chain vest and executioners. But it is what it is. I should get executioners in this list somewhere, though. Kind of weird that I don't have it, not going to lie. But... It is what it is. It's fine. I can add it at the end of this game. Anyways, back to top lane. So, we currently do have a 9% life steal, which is pretty good. Just 9% innate life steal. We currently have 17.5% on vamp. We are drain tank heavy. We can easily sustain. Nice and dandy. Uh, hits tries looking for another hook. Doesn't work out. I will simply hit this for vision. On oh, Yasuo, you guys are... Perma CC, by the way. Pressing R, avoiding damage. <laughs> Imagine playing the way they did into a fiddle six. And not to mention our team, specifically me, stole the Baron! Let's go! Was it intentional? Hell no! But it was amazing. Your flower after killing someone. What about it? Auto Q. He's talking about Jim, by the way, not me, but. Yeah, that was not intentional. I think it was my Ravenous Hydra that stole the Baron, unless I W'd it. But yeah, that was actually pretty good stuff right there. They're, they're, they're playing with fire where they're doing Baron with Fiddlesticks being up, you know? But yeah, so far, what we will always want to do, by the way, after a successful, you know, clear or push, you know, Ace, you want to be taking enemy resources away. Be it a camp, just simply camps. That's what you want to do. You want to take away camps away because... That makes that stars them out of gold, specifically their jungler. Obviously, their laners if they go for it, but specifically their junglers, right? So, picking this up, very good stuff. That was a really good clean wipe and ace. So, we're getting very close to our item here. My hmm. Really sucks my W. <laughs> silly, silly man. Gets outplayed. Outplayed indeed. Anyways, what? My red, my red buff. So sad. I'm very close to my item. I'd like it. Yoink. <laughs> that was definitely mine. But yeah, you guys like that Q2 healing me for so much HP? Look at that. Look at that sustain. How much is Q2 healing me for? 191 because of Bloodline? She. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Anyways, very close. We will pick up this top turn and we will have it. Uh. <laughs> Wow, this is so weird. Can I get an AD shield? Jesus. Stunned, and he's gonna wipe them off. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't think they'd send Panthea on top lane. It's kind of weird, but you know what? Whatever. What happens? They get double killed. We get a top turret here. Good stuff. And I get I finally have the stance. So we are a very strong champion now. We have pretty much scaled and got all the items we've ever wanted. The next item on the agenda is going to be either a Steric's Gauge or a GA. 
either or and then our last item will be a Ken Punk Chainsaw this is an item you'll never finish early by the way unless they have an immense amount of sustain mm -hmm. meaning they would need to have Shobo Yasuo Yumi we don't really care about Panther sustaining his Pantheon right he's never gonna Drake tech but let's say for let's say we do caught him as well there would also have to be I don't know Vladimir top then I would actually consider finishing it early but we don't finish it early Mm. Tipping in. We do have fiddle ult. Hmm, hey buddy. AD shield. Q2. Get me out of there. I got healing cut it, unfortunately. That was disgusting ignite, man. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Bro, Death's Dance was not enough. I need a Sterix Gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sterix Gauge is definitely the way to go. But yeah, you also just waste a stopwatch. Which is actually pretty good. No stopwatch for Drake if they don't do it on spawn. There's no stopwatch on Drake if they do it on spawn. His ult will be back. Just kill on it? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> w, let's life steal back up now. Auto Q2, 205 sustain. Not bad. Drop Q again. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I will go straight mid lane and see if I can make a pick on Yasuo. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm going this way. I trust Rexai to be there. Hmm. Make it, please. Never go as a whole team. Hmm. Currently on it. Wow, he didn't have smite? I could have taken that. <laughs> he didn't smite that. What? All right. Well, that's news to me. And let's take this level 16 off it. We're pretty strong. We are going to look for the split pushing game at this point. Mm, very close to Cloud Soul 2, which would be amazing on us. Let's go over here. I'm not going to smack this, actually. Just because that let them know where I'm currently at right now. Ah, uh, this actually lets me know where I'm at. So let's go hit it now. Yeah, they already know at this point. Anyways, hit this bad boy. We are going to walk straight over here. We currently have two bot lane. Not bad. Fiddle is currently clearing. Mm, but yeah, it's actually really important that Yasuo does not have what he has. Stopwatch is an amazing item for us. Or against us, right? Anyways, let's run straight top lane. And we do want enough gold for this phage component because we want to make ourselves tankier at this point, right? We definitely have all the damage in the world and we want HP to actually, you know, help us. Which is always going to be good. We have 1,200 health from... Look at that. 400 gold from Triumph? Not bad. We're actually more pressed with 1,200 sustain. I mean, it's always it's always sustained for that much, right? But I never actually really looked at it. It's actually pretty good. His champ count as your champ. Give it respect. Uh... Not sure who he's talking to, <laughs> but he's talking to someone, that's for sure. Anyways, we currently see Yasuo down here. They might look to make a play. Q2. Looks like I missed a score. But yeah, we have enough gold. We have 1,200 gold, but it's not like I need to use it right now. Mm, keep shoving out. Or, ooh, yeah, they're on award, sadly. They're going to get wiped out. There are two sides to every issue. That's really unfortunate. Really, really, really unfortunate stuff. One fort ward. <laughs> Very unfortunate ward. They have a cannon minion. It wasn't. Ah, they just need them. Um, they are just going to tank it, so I am actually going to buy a stopwatch instead. And see if I can do something to stop this end. I guess they did should map cover. <laughs> I'm not even streaming, you silly, silly goose. Anyways, we'll see what I can do here. I have stopwatch and all that good stuff. Stall for as long as I can. Hit it for half his HP. Team, baby. Come on. It's all you, baby. Fiddle coming in. Hits an AoE ultimate. Doing damage. Not enough damage. He's uh, being ignored. G8 up. All right. Well, that's the man in the game. Well, can't say I didn't try my hardest. Uh, oh, wait. They are wiping. Yasuo is Yasuo, though. He's dashing around left and right. Hits the stun. Not bad. W. Nice. Good shit. You love to see that. Anyways, we got we did the stopwatch. We did what I needed to do, which is pretty much stall as long as I can. And now we're gonna go towards Asterix Gauge. All right, the game is not over. He tries so hard to dash. The mine, all right. Could have just queued. <laughs> he could have just simply queued, and it would have been it would have worked out. Anyways, he will do that. Panth might our back door, I think. So I'll sit back with TP. 
So I'll just sit back with TP. Yeah, point and click, you know, this guy just simply loves cooking me, all that good stuff. But yeah, even though I did die, I did what I need to do is just last as long as I can. Or immediately TPing top lane. So good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll just sit back with TP, you know? Because there's not much more I could really do, right? Yeah, it's definitely a really hard game. We just got to get a really good AoE O on Fiddle on one of these fights. 28 KP, but 20 Dark to stack. How sad. Is that really low? I guess so. The test of good manners is patience. Get Baron, yeah? Or you get a good 5 man. You won't be 5 Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what we want. But yeah, like I said, we're just going to stick around. Uh, he's actually sitting on the Yumi, so they might be looking for something here. He's really calling very close to 16. <coughs> just don't get caught, because he will get My Prowler's called again 24-7, and I expect it. Unfortunately... They got so fed to the point where I couldn't really make use out of Cocker because fights are just so fast. That's how just simply the fights have been. So this is really unfortunate, sadly. Otherwise, I do think Cocker would have been just fine into this game, personally. Hmm. How about this? Do we get that? Oh. Half his HP. Not bad. Uh, they do pick up that. They're looking to end right now, guys. Um, I'm gonna recall because I can't make it in time. Yeah, the game's just over. Yep, they go for the end. So, not much you can really do. They just force the end as we go for that fight. But yes! Allow me to come in! Dodge that! But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the game. So, not much you can do when you're bot lane. It's even when they're your collegiate team. They're your collegiate team. So, did you play? Like, button, comment, and subscribe to see you guys in the next video. Peace! I did have a lot of fun. And yeah, I don't mind uploading losses, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. Bye-bye.